Hello, my friends, Mrs. McBride here, coming to you straight from my kitchen table. Um, as promised, we're gonna do the 2010 Mech 2 practice problem in preparation for your quiz that you're gonna take in a few minutes, okay? So what this says is we've got a bowling ball of mass six kilograms is released from rest from the top of a slanted roof that is four meters long and is angled at 30 degrees as shown above. The ball rolls along the roof without slipping. Now, without slipping, that's your cue that we're going to be rolling. The rotational inertia of the sphere of mass m and radius r about its center of mass is 2 fifths mr squared. Okay, so what you're going to do is, on the figure below, you're going to draw and label the forces, not components, acting on the ball at their points of application. Again, the reason why we don't draw the components is because if this was the actual AP exam and for whatever reason you drew the components in wrong, they would take off points. So they're telling you don't draw the components. Okay, so pause this video and draw in the components. Okay, hopefully you've drawn in the normal force acting from the center of mass and the force of gravity acting down from the center of mass and the force of friction acting up the ramp um, along the ramp. Okay, so this one is telling us to calculate the force due to friction acting on the ball as it rolls along the roof. If you need to draw anything else other than what you have shown, um, use the space below, do not add it. Okay, so you gotta think like a test maker here. Why are they saying this? Well, they're saying this because you actually have to draw something. So if this was the real AP exam, we would redraw this over here, but you know, it's not. So we're just going to draw in the components here of the force of gravity, or we know basically that FG sine theta, it pulls things down the ramp. And this guy here is FG cosine of theta. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is write out the sum of the forces equals ma, and I'm also gonna write out the sum of the torques equals I fish. Okay, so our first thing is what forces are acting and in which direction? Okay, well hopefully you're saying that Fg sine theta is pulling down the ramp and the force of friction is acting in the opposite direction, or we've got a little Fg sine theta minus FF equals ma. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna figure out what's going on with the torque. So which, if any of these forces cause torque? Well, we know that it is rolling without slipping, so something must be causing torque. So the thing that's causing torque is the force of friction or the force that's not applied at the center. Okay, so we know that torque is equal to radius times force, or in this case, it's the force of friction. Now I is our 2 fifths mr squared, and then what do we do about the fish? Hopefully you're saying to yourself, well, I know that A equals fish R, or A over R is equal to my rotational acceleration, so I'm gonna plug in A over R here, okay? So then I go, I'm gonna cross out all of the radiuses here. All right, so we have that FF is equal to two fifths MA. And you should be happy like, okay, I did this correctly because I'm always gonna get two fifths times MA. All right, so I'm gonna come back over here and plug this in, or I'm going to get MG sine theta minus two fifths MA equals MA, or g sine theta, oh, sorry, minus two fifths a is equal to a, or g sine theta is equal to, if I add one plus two fifths, or five fifths plus two fifths, I get seven fifths a, or if I multiply by five sevenths to move this to the other side, I get five sevenths g sine theta is equal to a. Now, if you noticed, hopefully you're saying to yourself, hey, Mrs. McBride, this is not what I'm looking for. I know, I'm with you, okay? It says we wanted to calculate the force due to friction, but I find this to be the easiest way. So now I am gonna take and plug this back in over here. And you could do this a different way, but this is just a, sort of my plan of attack. This gives me 5 sevenths g sine theta. OK, 
Okay, so I'm gonna cancel out the fives, or I'm gonna get that the force of friction is equal to 2 sevenths mg sine theta. Okay. All right, now we could stop here, but I just wanna add another little piece in here. So what if we wanted to calculate what was the coefficient of friction? Because who doesn't want to do more physics, am I right? Okay, well maybe you would say FF is equal to mu FN. And I've already got my FF, my 2 sevenths mg sine theta, right, is equal to mu. And what is FN equal to? Hopefully you're saying, well, Fn must equal to Fg cosine of theta or Mg cosine of theta. Okay, and we've done a problem like this before and we saw that this is gonna really cancel out to a lot of good stuff here or the Mg's cancel out, right? And we divided by cosine. And you guys were quick to tell me that when I take sine divided by cosine, I get tangent, or I should end up with 2 sevenths tangent of theta. Okay? All right. Good luck on your quiz.